We're getting a closer look at the situation on the ground in Israel as medical teams rush to treat those who have been wounded. All right, Fox 5's Antoine Lewis joins us live from the newsroom. And Antoine, you spoke with a doctor who's been on the front lines. He still is, Stephen, trying to treat injuries in a hospital that is also under attack. Usually a mass casualty event, a major mass casualty event in our hospital is 50 injured. We have never dealt with such numbers. Many, many of them that came in were in critical situation. Dr. Ron Lobel says his hospital, Barzilai Medical, has treated more than 400 people since Saturday's attack, many of whom were unable to be saved. People were injured by the rocket attacks, by sharp nose, uh, or by direct hit of the rockets. Houses collapsed in, the, in Ashkelon City and in the cities around, uh, and many, many others were shot directly by the Hamas people that entered the settlements. Barzlai Medical Center is in Ashkelon, just miles away from Gaza. It is the frontline hospital of the present war zone. And despite treating wounded civilians and IDF soldiers, the hospital itself has also come under attack. Some of our infrastructures were destroyed by rockets that uh, hit directly parts of the hospital. Rockets that did not spare his own village, his neighbors among those that were killed. Yes, 17 of my friends and uh, neighbors were murdered, uh, were shot directly by the Hamas people, all of them civilians, all of them, some of them were children, others were uh, adults, some old people. Lobel says his hospital is managing as best it can, knowing that hope for a quick end to the conflict is being sent from all over the globe. We need the uh, equipment. We have enough stuff. From what I see, I don't think it will be over in the next uh, days or even weeks. But uh, I join your hope. Again, that hope coming from all over the world. Dr. Lobel and his family were actually safely evacuated from their village. As you might imagine, Stephen, hospital staff has been working pretty much around the clock nonstop since Saturday. All right. Thanks, Antoine. Well